yet again today. So excited. How you doing today, Gabby? You know, I'm doing good. Julie, yes. I have a really, really big question. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, hit me. What is your favorite color? Hmm. I actually have two. Okay. Uh, blue and red. Okay, but why? So I really like blue if it's clothing because I have blue eyes and wearing blue clothing makes my eyes pop. Um, but if it's an electronic, a computer, a cell phone, something like that, I really like red. Okay, but why? So red is really easy to find. So but why? Because it's bright and it's not like But it. why is it bright? Because it is. But why? So boys and girls, let me ask you a question. Do your parents ever get frustrated if you constantly ask them questions? Kind of like Miss Gabby was doing to me today. Yeah, I bet they do. My mom did too, absolutely. But you know, God gave us a curious mind for a reason. So we ask questions sometimes because we're really, really, really seeking to understand. But sometimes we ask questions because it's out of our need or our want or our desire. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about God wanting us to keep asking. Let's jump into our devotional. I'm with you and within you doing good things in your life. Even when you're not aware that I'm with you, the light of my presence keeps shining brightly on you. And the light has great power. So dare to ask great things of me. I can do much, much more than anything you can ask or think of. Nothing is impossible for me. Pray boldly and keep praying in my name. Learn from the widow in the Bible who wouldn't give up. She went to the judge again and again, asking for what she needed. This judge did not care about God or what people thought about him. But because she kept asking, he finally gave her what she needed. If a selfish judge would do that, how much more will I? give to my loved ones who cry to me night and day. You may have to wait for my answer a little while or a long while, but don't quit praying. Keep asking and you will receive. Keep searching and you will find. Whew. Wow, That's pretty powerful stuff. Yeah. You know, God says keep asking and I will deliver that your desire of your heart. I gave those to you, and I will give you much more than just the desires of your heart. But boys and girls, we have to remember, some things we want here and now isn't necessarily the true desire of our heart. That's why God doesn't answer us immediately all the time. Sometimes we're asking out of selfishness. Sometimes we're asking out of an immediate need or an immediate craving that we have, but it's not truly in our best interest, and it's not truly a part of God's plan for us. So sometimes our prayers are not answered instantly. Sometimes we have to wait. Sometimes it's a while. And sometimes what God has is actually better than what we wanted. So Isn't that crazy? much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's give you some scriptures that you can review as a family to dive a little bit deeper into this lesson. Go ahead, Gabby. So the first one is Ephesians 3:20. It says with God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or think of. The next one, this one's a little longer. This is Luke 18, 2 through 8. Once there was a judge in the town. He did not care about God or what people thought about him. In that same town, there was a widow who kept coming to this judge, but the judge did not want to help the widow. After a long time, time he thought to himself this widow is bothering me i'll see that she gets her rights or she will bother me until i'm worn out the lord said listen to what the bad judge said god's people cry to him night and day god will always give them what is right and he will not be slow to answer them now part of that scripture says god will always give them what is right we have to trust that even if we're waiting for God to answer our prayer, that he will always do right by us. He wants nothing but the best for us. 
And our last scripture today, boys and girls, is Luke 11.10. Yes, if a person continues asking, he will receive. And if he continues searching, he will find. And if he continues knocking, the door will open for him. So boys and girls, I just want to pray over you right now. Even in our moments where we think we know what's best for us, God knows so much more. Even when our moms and dads are making decisions that they think are best for us right then and there, we have to trust that they're hearing from the Lord and the Lord is telling them what is best for us right now. So boys and girls, I just lift you up. I lift you up and your prayers. Whether you're praying for a really good game, whether you're praying for a super special gift that you just really, really want, or whether you're already praying for your future husband and wife. I just bless those prayers. The Lord hears your prayers, boys and girls, and he wants nothing but the best for you. And Lord, I thank you that you want nothing but the best for us. God, our wildest dreams, you want to go above and beyond those wildest dreams. There's a saying that he wants to bless our socks off, and God, I just thank you that you do. You do time and time again. So, Lord, I just pray for patience in the waiting. Lord, I pray for peace in the waiting. And, Lord, I just pray that these loved ones continue to keep asking, for one day they shall receive. We thank you and we praise you. In your precious name, everyone said amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we will see you next week. Have fun. Stay cool. Bye.